What's up everybody? January 17th, 2022. We are getting heavier rain now. Seriously, these weather forecasters have been so off. I'm telling you, it's just nuts. But yeah, it's getting heavier. Thank goodness. We can use it. And hopefully this translated, translates into heavier snow when we start getting some snow in a few hours. That's what I'm hoping for. But I don't know for sure. Take North Shore over here. To get to this side of town. I thought we would head out to this side of town. This is so great, you guys. I'm so excited about this. So darn excited about it. Sorry about the the vent being so loud. It's just we're trying to keep the windshield from fogging up. That would not be fogging good. <laughs> yes, I know I have problems. I know. A lot of them. Tons of them. We're not going to go all the way into Baldwin, we're just going to go to the opposite side of town. To the very end of basically Big Bear City. And then we're going to turn around and come back down Big Bear Boulevard. And here we are on Stamfield Cutoff. Look at how beautiful that looks over there. What a beautiful view. The, the Baldwin area is this way. You can see it looks a little lighter out that way. It's like that all the time, you guys. All the time. There's a lot more precipitation always over here than there is over there. Anyway, I'm so glad to be making these videos, man. I'm telling you. It makes me really happy and I get to communicate with you guys. It's a freaking win-win situation. Quit drinking caffeine over a month ago. I'm drinking a lot of Sprite. And I love it. I know I should be drinking a bunch of water, but I really do. Wow, this is great. We're going to have to turn up the windshield wipers a little bit.
2 degrees, so we still have a little ways to go before it'll start snowing, but typically when the sun goes down up here, it gets cold pretty quick. So I'm hoping that's the case. Since we do have clouds above us right now, some of the heat that's still here is going to take, take longer to rise out of here, but that's okay. I'm just hoping we can get some snow tonight. It'll be awesome. So this is Highway 18, you guys, on the back side. So if you keep taking this, just stay on this, don't make any turns, you'll end up in Lucerne Valley. Actually, I think technically it turns into Highway 18 after we pass Greenway up here. Watch, you'll see how it says, uh, at least, okay, so we're, on Highway 38 right now, but to stay on Highway 38, you have to turn right at this street. Like, like why did they make it so so freaking difficult like that? Maybe it's just difficult for me because I'm kind of a moron, but it's a pain in the butt. So we're coming up to a road called Paradise. And then if you once you pass Paradise, there are no more turns. You have to go all the way around Big Bear or around Baldwin Lake. So we're just going to turn right here. You can see there's, there's kind of some blue sky up there. Not really blue, but some break in the clouds. And then over here for sure. Always in this area. Always. So we're going to take this to Big Bear Boulevard and take the boulevard back so you guys can... Uh, See what it's like on the main roads. 41 degrees. Very good, very good. We shall take it, man. I was hoping it wouldn't pick up until we got snow. Because <laughs> I don't want to inundate you guys with so many videos, but this is just what I do. I'm obsessive when it comes to this stuff. Alright, so we're coming up to Big Bear Boulevard now. Sorry about that, I accidentally hit the off button for some odd reason. I'm glad I noticed. So we just basically made, are, are making a big loop. We went to the other side of town earlier today for the previous video, and now we're going to this side of town. And you'll notice the further we go this direction on Big Bear Boulevard, back towards Big Bear Lake, we're gonna get more and more rain. And you can see it's just really dark up ahead too. It's still 41 degrees. I better turn on my headlights now. They're usually on auto, but at nighttime when I drive back into my little neighborhood. I like to have my lights off just so I don't annoy any neighbors. Out of respect. Because my lights go right into their windows as I'm driving in. So I like to be cool. Guys, once again, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. I'm telling you guys, I wouldn't talk about him all the time if he wasn't the man. That guy who owns that shop, Sahil. I'm telling you guys, man, he is so freaking cool. And he's like the only place up here that because I used to go down the mountain to buy everything that I needed, even from just trinkets to smoke shops down there, because everything up here is just so expensive, which I can understand. It's a tourist town. I get it. But he doesn't overcharge people. And so that's that's why he, he deserves a lot of business because he treats you guys right. He treats me right. Um, yeah, he's just a super cool dude. Big bear smoking babe. And it's not like he gives me any money or, or anything to, you know, to talk about his place. I tell him that I want to because he's such a good dude. You don't find people like that these days or as many. So he deserves to get all the business in the world. And not that I have a huge reach, but I like to try. And I would never steer you guys wrong. I would never steer you guys wrong. I'm sure you guys know that by now. And as nice as it would be to essentially get into bed with some of the companies up here, 
I, I just I just wouldn't feel right doing that to promote a company just because they're doing something for me. So that's why there's not many connections up here because I don't like doing that because for me to, to benefit, but it doesn't necessarily help you guys out, that's just super selfish. And I'm just, I'm just not about that. Most of you have said that I've steered you the right way and I appreciate that because that's my goal. I want you guys to have a good time and come back up here because less than 15% of people ever come back. It's a crazy statistic, but it's, it's real. I tell you guys all the time, at my orientation at Bear Mountain, when I was a cook there, they spent 30 minutes of the one hour orientation talking about like how we need to treat the people better up here, treat them with the Big Bear way, which is just love and respect and patience. Um, because less than 15% of people ever come back here. I thought it would have been like 75% come back, you know? But it, it makes sense when, when you think about all the high prices, the long drive, taking time off of work and losing money when you're not at work and then spending a fortune up here. Um, having to buy all new clothing for this type of weather. Yeah, it's just, it becomes very expensive. But yeah, the rain's picking up. As you guys can see, we're heading back into Big Bear Lake and it's picking up. Here's one of the snow play parks, you guys. We kind of passed it a little bit, but it's right on the corner of Big Bear Boulevard and Division Road. snow compared to just right over here it's it's truly amazing how these microclimates up here work and how big of a difference having a little mountain in front changes everything if we didn't have snow summit and bear mountain like those mountains right there this part of town would get so much snow but the storms hit those mountains and they and they lift condense and dump all their they just get wrung out like a wet sponge right on top of the mountain and then it hits all this dry air on the other side of the mountain and it just rips, rips these storms apart. It's pretty crazy how it works. Pretty cool stuff. snowing right now this would be a, a, a decent snowfall at least for us a lot of you in all these other states that actually get real good snowstorms in the east coast it's getting hammered right now you guys probably laugh at these videos how can you get so excited over nothing <laughs> you know i do though but for us this is something it really is i just wish it was snow I think we've seen like minus 25 degrees or something here back in like 1978 or 1980 or 1981. It, it was one of those years. So if it was that cold up here, that means that down in San Bernardino, they must have gotten down to almost zero, which is pretty amazing. Anyway, we're entering Moon Ridge, guys, and we're going to shut it off and get this uploaded and get ready for the snow. Woohoo! So awesome. So awesome. Nice thing. Oh, here, I guess you're not. Alright. Woohoo! January 17, 2022. Peace out, you guys. Till later. <laughs>